Well, my name is Hannah Lisa. As it's Halloween next week, I'm going to show you how you can achieve a spooky yet glamorous makeup look using Rimmel London products. Start with clean, makeup free skin and use the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. This will give you a smooth and even base for your foundation. Rimmel foundations are easy enough that you can use your hands, but feel free to use a brush or a sponge if you want to. I'm using the Lasting Finish foundation in shade Ivory, which is lighter than my skin tone as I want to give a vampy feel to the makeup. Don't forget to cover your ears and neck, otherwise these areas will really stand out against your new gothic skin. Next I'm going to use the Hide the Blemish concealer in shade Ivory, again a lot lighter than my skin tone. I'm using it under the eyes and across the areas that I want to highlight. Don't worry about applying it directly under the eyes as that's where we're going to apply our eyeshadow. Set all of this with the Stay Matte Pressed Powder. Using a powder will give you a smooth base to apply your contour and blusher, which we'll come back to later in the video. Now let's move on to the eyes. As a base, apply the Scandalized Gel Liner in shade 1 all over the lid. This is the blackest of black and will ensure that your eyeshadow stays put all day long. Apply the Smoke and Shine Cold Pencil in black on the upper and lower water lines. We want to make sure that our eyes are extremely dark and smoky. Don't worry about being neat as we're going to blend this out in the next few steps. For the next few steps I'm going to be using the Glam Eyes HD Eyeshadow Palette. Each of these palettes contains five different shades which makes creating smoky eyes super easy. This palette is called Brixton Brown and contains some rich ready browns which are perfect for this look. I'm starting with the darkest shade and applying that all over the lid to set the gel base. Work your way from dark to light, blending as you go. Bring the shadow right above the upper crease line and below the lower lash line. This may feel like you're applying it way too low, but once you have your mascara on, it will all tie in together. Your brows are not a key element in this makeup, so just fill them in naturally with the Brow This Way kit. Apply the wax first, Doing this will ensure the best colour payoff and longevity for the powder, which you apply on top. Now for my favourite product, mascara. This look calls for dramatic, volumised lashes, and what better way to get that than to use the Super Curler Mascara. This is an intense black and really lengthens, curls and volumises your lashes. It has a curved brush, which really helps to lift your lashes right from the root. Now, use the gel liner again to create a flick at both the inner and outer corners. I like to do this after I've applied my mascara, as then you can see where your lash line naturally ends. Now that our eyes are finished, we can come back to contouring. Here's a trick. If you don't have contouring products, you can use any powder which is an ashy brown tone. Most eyebrow products are ashy based, so here I'm using the powder from the Brow This Way kit. Apply this under the cheekbones to really emphasise them. I'm going to use a small amount of the Lasting Finish Blush in shade 220 on the apples of my cheeks. Don't use too much as we don't want to look too alive, it is Halloween after all. Another trick, highlighters can be any pale shimmery powders. Eyeshadows are particularly good to use. I'm going to use the white shade from the Pinkadilly Circus palette. Apply your highlighter, paying special attention to cheekbones, centre of the nose and Cupid's bow. You can use quite a lot of highlighter for this look as we want to look super naturally glowy. For the lips, we're going to create a beautiful dark red ombre. To do this, I'm first going to line the outside of my lips using the Scandalized Gel Liner again. This works perfectly for this as it's extremely precise and stays put once you apply it whereas it's quite easy to smudge when using a cold pencil or a regular lip liner. Now fill in the lips. I'm using Perocalypse lipstick in shade 550, Play With Fire. Blend the black liner into the red to create the ombre effect. Provocalypse is applied in two parts. First, the intense colour, 
and then once that's dried, the clear top coat to lock in the colour all day long. And that's it. An easy makeup that's spooky enough for Halloween but still pretty and glamorous at the same time. Now, who wants to upgrade this look from vamp to vampire? To create the effect of bite marks, take an eyelash glue with a small brush and apply it in two circles to your neck. Apply a few thin layers, letting each one dry in between. Peel the edges up slightly in the center using tweezers and then blend the edges with your foundation. Fill in the middle with a black eyeliner to give depth to the wound. Apply a blusher around the outside to make the skin appear reddened and then use a red lipstick to fill in the wound. This one is the same Provocalypse lipstick that we used for the lips. Finally, fake blood can be added using Rimmel's Oh My Gloss in shade 500 Ooh La La. I'm also going to add this to the corners of my mouth to give the appearance of dripping blood. It's so much easier than it looks, isn't it? And no expensive or complicated special effects products are required. It's all done by using your favourite Rimmel products. We hope you have a spooktacular Halloween and we'll see you soon.